It's the secret book. And that's how spirit book Carmen. There she is, right behind you the whole damn time, right? In the shadows, just wait. So darn complex. I'm done with work. Can we meet up? I'll see you in court. So there's a lot of things that she's hiding and or, again, keeping secret when it comes to him. Rick Games. How does Jay-Z currently feel about Beyonce? Okay. Okay, let's get into this intuitive reading from Malcolm X. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot, sometimes it's not. You got to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so y'all know energy doesn't die. That's how I feel. If you don't, that's cool. If you do, that's what's up. All right, so first and foremost, I'm I'm going down my list that y'all give me and I write it down every day. No lie. I put it on the list and I just try to cross it off. Now, the list is long, but I'm going to get to it. Okay, I promise you that. Malcolm X popped in my head and I said, wait a minute, this ain't on the list. But Spirit said, this is what I need you to do. So, Spirit said, you've been hoodwinked. <laughs> you've been bamboozled. <laughs> that's the energy that's coming through when I say his name, when I call on his energy, sending him love and light, sending the collective love and light. I say you've been bamboozled this is very interesting this is like talking to somebody who's not going to tell you i told you so but is going to ask for how you feel what do you feel did not tell like mm -hmm, like that kind of mm -hmm. like i know you're not telling me i told you so but you're giving me all the energy that's like mm, oh oh I feel like somebody said that would happen. That's the energy that's coming through. And there's also this energy of something is bubbling at the belly and bubbling at the throat. There is some form of communication that the ancestors are intervening and they're saying it's go time now, 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 now. There's some form of communication, honesty, courage, sharing, revelation, surprise news, text, and a phone call. Okay. And it's getting ready to pop off. So what is this communication about, Brother Malcolm? brother malcolm um he said that this has to do with uh this pregnancy manifestation and or manipulation with a swirl of sexual sacral energy and all the solar plexus energy so this in the belly the belly um of the woman but not just specifically the woman but in the belly he's speaking in the belly and it's and second time because that frog card the belly was it was, the, was very engrossed enlarged it's at the belly and it's busting. And this has to do with all of that stuff. All of this energy of abundance and fertility, belief and succor and in your prime. All of that is coming to a head. That's what it feels like. It's coming to a head. Okay? Because there's lipstick on a pig when it comes to this. It's being communicated upon that it affects the heart chakra. Okay? Creating delays and um, this, 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 what are you trying to say? Disorganization. Um, that this is an area of passion, passion for people and or passion for a person, passion for business. That the higher intuitive chakra is not being, that the higher intuitive chakra is being ignored and that you need to get grounded. There's lipstick on a pig when it comes to this. Spirit is also acknowledging that it is festering. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this is just nasty. It's dirty. It's rotten. And it needs to come out. Oh, that's interesting because um, I'm here, swine pig and now i see it uh, i see the card but uh, it's something about this festering condition swine pig okay so artificiality denial cover-up trickery superficiality frivolity and needing to take a closer look and the boat is being stalled so you can see it spirit is like we don't want you to move we want you to sit in it and see it for what it is this is reflection Take accountability and responsibility for your actions. How did you get here? Why are you here? And what can you do from here? Mountains in the background could be a water sign or just acknowledge that this is emotional, but he's acknowledging Brother Malcolm. And I want to call him Papa Malcolm, like Grandfather Malcolm, because he's all of our grandfather, is he not? Anyway, um, if the good Lord is willing and the creek don't rise, there's a treasured objective to get you to see this, to get you to inter understand why we are in this moment. Spirit says in this movement, treasured objective, purpose, determined, Termination, smooth sailing, and assistance. And I just feel like there's so much more that Brother Malcolm wants to talk about when it comes to what it is that you want the collective to see. Thank you. I want you to see the Ten of Cups. He wants you to see family. He wants you to see the, the unity, harmony, alignment, okay? 
He wants you to see that whatever is done in the dark is coming to the light. Whatever you're trying to suppress is coming to the surface when it comes to family, when it comes to unity, when it comes to alignment, when it comes to harmony. Okay, moon, water sign could be emotional and or could just be a moon, like water, okay? But Spirit is also acknowledging that the lights are coming on. What you do in the dark is coming to the light. This has to do with manifestation, manipulation, and or pregnancy. The lights are coming on, family. Family, if you want alignment, alignment, the lights got to come on. You got to see what's in the dark. Okay. Spirit said, have no fear. Have no fear. Okay. Brother Malcolm, message to the collective. Okay. Okay. It's time to evolve. Decisions. It's not a negative situation, but a necessary one. Having the awareness to see it from your soul's perspective that you chose much of this before you incarnated is needed. This releases the victimhood mentality and pulls back your power. We must go through trials and tribulations as an opportunity to evolve. Wow, that's deep. Because sometimes people say, why, why, why? Well, in order to evolve, you have to. In order for the next generation to push a little bit further, if not a lot further, you have to. You have to grow through it. Go through it. Mm -hmm. That's the download. Um, how can you choose to interpret the situation hinges on your growth or not? Okay, Brother Malcolm. Message to the collective. Brother Malcolm's message to the collective, 30 is significant. Something happened profound when he was 30 years old. Something is 30 means something. Three means something, but 30 is really standing out. It's very significant. Thank you, Spirit. When it comes to Brother Malcolm X, mother of water, emotional self-care, take care of you. You are forgetting yourself. Listen to your inner voice. Trust the intuitive guidance coming your way. Your powers have never steered you wrong. Your powers, okay. You have only neglected to trust them. Trust in your powers. Trust in yourself. All the soul work work you have done is far so far is paying off take better care of your heart your heart chakra believe who people show themselves to be i say believe what your third eye shows you i say three is significant 30 is significant this ancestor rules all things when it comes to our emotions she also has healer priestess energy but you don't want to this won't to be wounded you but you don't want this to be wounded healer energy be sure to love up on yourself so that your cup is full enough to give to others for many of our ancestors embodying love was a liability being vulnerable left them to being hurt in perilous situations when you choose the power of openness and vulnerability you heal them you don't just heal yourself you heal your ancestors and that's what they don't want you to know that is the key to it all venerate your ancestors moving in love and light not that they was brutalized murdered hoodwinked hanged destroyed fucked up do not venerate that low tier energy of your ancestors. That is a no. Let me go back to what he said. He said, <laughs> when you choose the power of openness and vulnerability, you heal them. Heal yourself so that you heal them. A part of them, just I keep telling y'all, phys the, the physical body dies, the spiritual body does not. And the spiritual body is, is doing work on the spiritual side to make sure that they are in alignment, that their chakras are still in alignment. They can't speak it, but they feel it. And we feel it. You ever been somewhere you said, oh, I feel that? That's them. And they need your energy coupled with their energy to master this realm, to master we have to work together. That's just an download. Look, I don't know. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. But what Spirit says, stop, stop venerating <laughs> that. That is not who they were. That is not all they were. That is how they left. That is what they endured. But the powerful part of them deserves praise. That's all I can say. That's all I'm going to say. You don't need to make choices from fear and lack in the same way they did. Come on, baby. I ain't going to talk about not too much. Look, not too much. I don't want to tussle. I don't want to fight. All right. So let's get into it. Fred Malcolm. I feel like I should call you granddaddy. Granddaddy. Balancing act. Feels like he's saying this life is all a balancing act. Who's a Gemini? I see mirroring energy. There's this thing about twin flame, learning a lesson, seeing a, a mirrored reflection, take accountability and responsibility, learn a lesson and keep it moving. 
There are times when things seem a bit tipsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. A thousand. <sighs> Come back to one. Got you. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to elevate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused and level path. So my question that's coming through is the battle that you had to fight. Thank you. He had to fight the boss daddy. He had to fight this 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 person. Who is this? He had to fight the stable, rich business owner, CEO, Big Dick Energy. That was his battle. And why do I hear the battle is not yours? It's the Lord's. No matter what you're going through, remember God is using you for. Come on. Anyway, Spirit said this is also this energy of chasing love, looking for love, trying to give love, trying to receive love. Not that fake love, that real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free. That Let me tell you something. The message is that any time that we try to, to vibrate in a higher frequency, call, turning outward and saying, love, love, love is the answer. Love your people. Love right. your hair. Thank you, spirit. Love your face. Love your natural features. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. They, who is they? I don't want to tell, so I don't want to fight. Cannot handle it. And I'm not talking about just a race of people. I'm talking about energy. The opposing force cannot take it. That's the message. That's the download. He was teaching love. And they started tripping on him. They was wolves in sheep clothing, baby. Oh, he said they came after his marriage. They came after all of that. Anything else? I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free. Yep, getting an inside scoop, taking a closer look, nosing up in his business because his message, they was creeping. They was watching you. Somebody's watching me. They was peeking in the windows. They was peeking in the doors. They was peeking in the house. People said, Spirit said they got cameras over here, cameras over there. Mm -mm. Fishing for comments. What'd he say? What'd he say that? Making it all emotional and stuff. That's deep. What's your message to the collective? For the Malcolm. Mm. Okay. Well, this card is an interesting card, is it not? I see one, two, three, three bodies. <laughs> and is this cemetery in somebody's backyard? I'm just asking the questions. I don't want to tussle. I don't want to fight. Three is significant, 30 is significant in this reading for Brother Malcolm. Okay, so we do get Rada. Why well, see three up here at the top? Nah, don't want to tussle. I don't want to fight. I don't want to do it. Gueda, 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 Gueda. Why do I feel like I've heard this word before? Papa Gueda, he is a fire fellow. Papa Gueda with top hat, tails, and one dark eye. Mmm. The aspect of this card emphasizes the Saturnine qualities of Guida's character. He sits pompous and reserved, his arms folded across his chest in a gesture of self-containment. There is little to the divine fool in this manifestation. Behind his sunglasses, his eyes seem to have turned inward to more closely examine the somber aspects of his realm. His solitary companion is a beetle, reminiscent of the sun at midnight, which crawls before him. Beetle. Makes me feel like the scared beetle for some reason out of Egypt. Keep going. Did you say let my people go? Did you say Moses let my people go? Thank you, sir. The primary attribute of this card is a deep introspection that focuses upon the night side of the soul. Sorrow of a deep and brooding nature, this joy and gaiety that attends the release from this sorrow, the release. It has been said that the adept laughs on the outside and cries on the inside. One must first acknowledge and accept the sorrow of existence and know well is well its boundaries. Only then is it possible to transcend, transcend its territories. Oh man, this feels like life and death. 
and being okay with both. Gwada rushes forth where angels and for that matter demons fear to tread. His steps his his step is light and apt to bring laughter as well as public revelations of a personal and often embarrassing nature. The verse below describes typical Gwada attire. His dress is worldly, his glasses contain one smoked and one clear lens. This graphically demonstrates that he sees with one eye into the visible world and looks with the other eye into the world of the invisibles. Ha! Huh, one foot in, one foot out. Come on, ancestors. Now, I've been saying that there's work that they do on the other side. And there's people that they have attached themselves to to assist. They got one eye in and one eye out. One foot in, one foot out. Okay. Deep. Thank you. I get you. You're watching. Some of somebody watching me. So I see y'all. I see what you're doing down there over yonder. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Spirit is acknowledging when it comes to Brother Malcolm, the son, joy, freedom, self-expression, pregnancy, like a manifestation, okay? Giving birth to some form of thought, an idea, um, good luck and gratitude that he's left seeds here. His seeds are, are, he's reaping a bountiful harvest is what Spirit is acknowledging. It's being communicated upon. I do see the bottle trees acknowledging that he is protecting his seeds, his legacy. I should. Brother Malcolm, current energy. Thank you. There's this energy of the two of wands, new beginnings. There's good news, passion, coming, um, having a spark, travel, excitement. Are you coming back? Okay. Brother Malcolm, current energy. I've always wondered how energy determines when and how they're going to come back. Is there a waiting period? Is there not? This is a question I've always asked myself. Like, how do you determine when, if, how, when, where, why? Does it determine the work that you do on the other side that you, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know. I got all the questions. But anyway, let's stay focused. Well, the Knight of Wands comes out that he's adventurous energy, that he is fearless energy. He's rebellious energy, sexy, brave, a risk taker, and a charmer. Okay. Fire sign energy. Spirit is also acknowledging with the Nine of Pentacles. He has wealth. He is wealthy. And this is not just like a wealthy. This is like a non-arrogant wealth kind of. I got so much money, I don't even care. It's not even about that. Thank you. Thank you. I got a whole bunch. Thank you. But that's not what I'm, that's not my point. That's not my purpose. That's, that's my, that's my inheritance. You say what? Say, that's your right. That's his right. That's my, that's what I, that's my right. Why wouldn't I have it? It's mine. What do you mean? I'm blessed with it because it's, it comes with the package. It comes with me. I'm divine. That's the energy. Okay. Keep going. Thriving business, freedom, high end, self-sufficient boss. And spirit said, guess what? With the three of pentacles, he's working with energy that can tap in. You see them burning the midnight oil. They venerate and, and giving offerings and speaking good things about his energy and upholding him. He feels all of that. And he's acknowledging that he's, his hard work is paying off. He's collaborating and partnering with others. Now, say what? I got you. What's next? For the collective, Brother Malcolm. Ten of Pentacles, Inheritance, Will, Deeds, Old money's coming back to you. Family businesses, empires, marrying into money, flourish, happiness, alignment, marry, harmony, success, wishes granted. The magician is putting out all its resources to ensure that the family gets what they deserve. So I got 40 acres and a mule. What are we talking about? Not my business, not my problem. Okay. It's coming together. Energy is uniting. Energy is making sure that their seeds grow. Do you understand? Not my business. All right, Spirit is also acknowledging with the two of wands, new beginning, good news. It came out twice now. Creative spark, travel, excitement, get excited. Get excited because they work in overtime just like we are. And when I say we, I mean the collective. Okay, I say. Feels like there's something else in the middle of the deck. Thank you, Spirit. It's showtime. Spirit is acknowledging there's something new that's coming and it's going to put a ripple. It's going to create it's going to create a ripple. It's going to create a splash. Water sign energy and there could be emotional. But the splash is coming with a communication of victory, with willpower, with truth, new ideas, justice, new contracts. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.